Hey, so in today's video, we're going to do a portrait photo shoot here in London. As you can see, I'm not carrying a camera bag or actually I'm not carrying a camera backpack because I only need one lens for this photo shoot. And that is the 50 mm f1.4 from Sigma in combination with my trusty Canon R6. And I'm gonna bring you along for it. So without any further ado, let's get into it. And you know, I wasn't just using a tripod, it was actually my sister filming behind the camera and she's also gonna be modeling for us today. Yeah, and tomorrow. And tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that, because this is the first time we're actually on a holiday together and why not make the most of it by planning some photo shoots? So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. If you've been following me for a while, then you know I love my bus stop photos. And speaking of, we've got a double-decker bus right here. I'll quickly show you how I shoot these photos because I always use an external light for these. My little pocket rockets. So I just put the light at only 1% and that is all you need. I feel like a too saturated face that is fully red just distracts from the photo. So 1% is plenty for me. question do you mind if my sister just sort of stands here and we use your light for a photo are you sure oh you're the best by the way before I forget to tell you make sure you watch all the way to the end of this video because I'll show you how I actually edited these photos as well and we will be using a very exciting and new software so make sure you stick along till the end So as for our next spot, we found a beautiful orange neon sign and who doesn't love a neon sign? Like, let's be honest. Nice. reporter with my little microphone but it's actually blocking out all the other sounds so nicely I've got a really weird idea and I don't know if this is gonna work out but I'm next to a phone booth as you can see look what I got a water spritz how do you call that um, water spritz plant spritz and I filled it up with water at our Airbnb and now I'm thinking of spraying the water on top of the window and then shoot through the window. Called a plant sprayer. A plant sprayer. I brought a plant sprayer. London people are gonna say, everybody pissed in the phone booth. And you're gonna put me in it? Yeah. If you're from London or they're from the UK, can you let me know if you actually use these or do you use them as a toilet? Because I hope not. I don't know. <laughs> Lamborghini! You! Lamborghini! Oh. Ah. Maybe I have to just spray a lot so it starts like dripping down almost. I'm 
I'm back in my trusty little studio. Oh, we had such an amazing trip. We've done so many photo shoots. And as you can imagine, my SD cards are full with portraits. Yeah, I love the editing as much as taking the photos, but it is a fact. It's gonna take me a couple of days to edit all of these portraits. And then especially the skin retouching, because usually I go in depth with frequency separation. I spend maybe 30 minutes or 20 minutes on one photo, but it's gonna take me forever. I really wanna speed up this process because I wanna get these videos out to you as soon as I can so you can enjoy them. And for that, I've got a solution because I wanna thank our sponsor, Reblum. They have created a software that will help us speed up my skin retouching process. Just, it's gonna put it on steroids. And I know you're gonna love this, even if you're a beginner retoucher or an editor or even a seasoned professional, this is gonna speed up your workflow times 100. I personally feel like skin retouching is like the cherry on top for your photos. It cleans it up, less distracting bits and boops, but for that you want a software that's also not very complicated. So this is the interface of Reblum. As you can see, it is just super minimal and clean and not many buttons that can confuse you. You want it to be quick, easy, just in and out. So that means there's no more switching between plugins or different softwares or whatever. With one simple click, you just head back into Photoshop or Lightroom. So I'm very excited to show you how I edit a photo from start to finish. So I'm gonna do a right mouse click and edit in Reblum. Now it's loading a photo, bam, okay, we're ready to go. And you might have already noticed, but it's already applied the skin retouching tools. Zoom in a little bit more so you can see it. This is before, and as you can see, it's minimal adjustments, but it just makes your photo look way more clean. So usually for my portraits, I keep it on natural. But if you feel like your photos need a little bit extra retouching, then I would apply the fashion look. And here on the right side, you can also see intensity. So we can adjust the general look of the photo and the texture. And to be honest, the texture is my favorite tool because I like to keep the textures in my model's face when I'm retouching. I don't want them to look too polished. So this is the before and that's the after. So I feel like my photo like this is perfect. So I'm gonna press okay here in the bottom right. And then it's gonna bring us back to Lightroom. As you can see here, this is our skin retouched version of the photo. And if I wanted to, I could still, you know, continue with masking or some color grading, but there is something else I wanna show you. Reblum also has another tool and that is batch editing. So if you're a commercial photographer or you shoot weddings, for example, this is a lifesaver and I'm gonna show you how it works. So I'm gonna choose a couple of images. This one, this one, and a daytime shot. So I'm gonna select them all, press enter, and there it goes. So let's start with the first one. This is the before and that's the after. So it edits from blemishes to acne scarring, but also annoying little shadows that are created by lighting or um, just the way a model is standing. And it just cleans up your photo so beautifully. Then our last one, which is a daytime photo, a completely different photo than the other ones. Yes, or okay. <laughs> that is nuts. Okay, so this is the before and that's the after. It looks seamless, yet natural. I think it looks natural because it maintained all the textures in the face. So you can do this with multiple images at the same time and then also save them at the same time. So I'm gonna click on save, put the quality of course all the way up to 100, choose a folder, so new folder is retouched and now they're processing. I, I wanted to say of course it's gonna take a couple seconds, but let's be honest, it would have taken me so much longer if I would edit all these photos myself. So I'll happily wait a couple seconds. In Reblum, you can also do batch processing through Lightroom. So I'm gonna select a couple of photos, then a right mouse click and click on edit in Reblum. Then you dive into the software, it does its adjustments, and then I click on export and I'm back in Lightroom and they're skin retouched and everything. Okay, now something completely off topic, but it's also a little bit on topic. I personally love long plane flights. I'm in this little bubble. I cannot go anywhere. I'm just me and my laptop and editing. So before I always head on a flight, I make sure I have a lot to edit, but it is a fact I don't have internet on the plane. Or usually it's not good enough to do anything, to be honest. With Reblum, you can also work offline. So you don't need internet to do all this crazy skin retouching. You can just do it offline in an airplane or in a forest or in a jungle, it doesn't matter. So you can still use it. And don't get me wrong, I love the skin retouching process. I love spending hours and hours, maybe not hours, but minutes and minutes on one photo, really nailing it. But it is a fact, 
sometimes you just don't have the time for that. So Reblum is the perfect solution for quick, fast and easy skin retouching. And I've got a little gift for you because you can start with Reblum, start a free trial and get 20% off of all the plans. So make sure to check out the link in my description. You can find all the information there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned something new from this video and I'm happy I got to take you along for the ride and show you my editing process. That is it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you at my next one. Okay, bye-bye. Doei. <laughs>